On today's episode of The Shed Sesh, I'll give you a, uh, a quick shed update and a, uh, we finally start looking at uh, getting stuck into the one tonner. Okay guys, so uh, been a, a busy little uh, bee the last couple of months in the shed. Um, I, th I think I've put a video or two out just for stuff that I've, I've done um, over the last couple of years. Uh, you might notice from last video to this video, there's a bit of beardage. So um, that's because it was done like about a year ago. And that was on the bench. Um, just my uh, $100 bench. So uh, what have I been up to? I finished the second half of the racking. So I think the uh, the racking video I did only went to uh, there and only had that side. So um, I've, uh, I've managed to put the TV up. I've gathered a few banners. So um, here we go, support some Australian. They, do, they are not sponsoring me at all. Um, I just needed something to cover all the shit up in the up in the racks so uh australian company as an electronics engineer bloody fantastic um how tech you know the the they design and manufacture here in australia um and they're they're worldwide uh ti performance <clears throat> they um they're an australian you know, mainly based from what i can tell around uh around ford performance tuning but they've got a lot of um, yeah, you can get a lot of connectors and, and hoses and, and bits and pieces through them. Um, and of course, you've got uh, Outlaw Speed Shop. Uh, these are just banners you can, you can buy online. Um, you know, it makes the, uh, the shed look, look a, little, uh, a little neater. Uh, and Unimig, of course. Yeah, I've just uh, sorted out a couple of uh, yeah, a MIG, MIG slash TIG, and a, um, and a plasma cutter. So uh, the reviews of those will come on come on soon. But um, yeah, a, again, another Australian company. So uh, yeah, in today's day and age, just uh, just get on board. Try to um, try to support Australian where you can. Um, the one tonner. It is time to get stuck into. The one tonner. I feel like I've I feel like I've put it off, um, just because once I start pulling it apart, there's no going back. So not that it's drivable anyway. The gearbox leaks or the the turbo four hundred leaks like a sieve, um, but it does start. She's rough. Pretty much looks exactly. Let me spin around here. She looks exactly as she did when, when I drove it, uh, obviously with the tray on, uh, when I drove it 10, 15 odd years ago. So, um, uh, although I had, uh, I had different wheels on it, I think I had those ones, the center lines. So uh, anyway, time has come. Can't put it off any longer, it needs to happen. Um, I, I'm literally just going to strip it down. Uh, I want the chassis, I want the chassis to, um, I want to send that off to be, uh, soda blasted or be blasted. I'll, uh, I'll KBS it. Uh, I still don't know what I'm going to do with the, with the, uh, the springs, whether I'm going to get rid of the springs and do a, um, a triangulated four link, that's my preference. I would like to go airbags because I've never done airbags on anything and I would love to do some airbags. Um, otherwise, I might just get some you know, coilovers. Um, got to get rid of all the gas tank. I, I welded this in years and years, like 15 years ago. Um, you know, everything's in pretty good nick. You know, I pulled uh, pulled the petrol tank out to uh, to make a start on that, probably a couple of years ago now. Um, exhaust system's coming out. 
all the interiors coming out. Uh, dash is absolutely cracked, but I've got a uh, I've got a better one here. Um, that uh, is probably chipping up a little bit. It's just painted a brown one. Brown ones never uh, never seem to split like the black ones did. <clears throat> Rust-wise, it's not ridiculous, but once I get it all, all stripped down, I mean, they do have, you know, we do have some holes around here. Um, so I can either just do little patches. Uh, I'll get a camera or when I, when I chop these, these out, I'll see what it's like under, underneath. Um, to be honest, I, I'm hoping it's a little better than a lot of them out there because... Uh, I have kind of looked after her over the years, although I did I did leave it under a tarp outside for a while. Um, obviously, these bloody awful mirrors will be going. Um, the gutters, not too bad. I mean, this is original paintwork. You know, it's, as you can see, it's got it's got the patina. Uh, that's why I was going the the red rims because I did originally want to go a um, sort of a rat rod, and as it has the uh, sort of some some pretty half decent sort of patina going on um, I thought uh, I thought I could work with that but at the end of the day I don't really know what I'd want to do now so more than likely this engine will be coming out and going over into the Monaro and the I probably should turn some lights on but um, and the the 350 uh, and manual five speed uh, should end up in this so that's the idea so we will be we I will be looking at um, once the chassis is all all done and ready everything's in uh, everything's pulled to pieces I'm probably going to start on the engine first because what I don't want to do is pull the engine out of the Monaro and make that undrivable I have a habit of only doing half a job so I don't want to pull the engine out of the Monaro to do that up to put into the one tonner while I then need to get to this 308 um, to uh, to do that up to get the Monaro going again so what I'll probably end up doing is you know once we get some you know body work and chassis work happening um, I'll fix up the, the 308 um, get that all the going and ready then there'll be a, a weekend swap into the um into the monaro i actually did the swap on this from i just rebuilt this engine this is a, a pavtech machined engine i i built it uh probably yeah again 15 years ago or something um i built it up it was in a style side ute and just as it i run it in a p plate pulled out in front of me and uh, literally crunched the front of the car. So I ended up buying this um, as sort of the donor car for it to go in. This was original six. I've got the original six outside. Um, and so I, I put it in. It took me three hours to take it out of the old car and put it into this car. Um, and then yeah, a bit of wiring to, to go, but um, yeah, it didn't take long at all. So I'm, uh, I'm a little older and a little slower nowadays, but uh, we'll see how we go. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've literally just been, you know, this this whole shed set up uh, has been has revolved around getting to this build. Um, she's been sitting around for ten plus years now. I just want to get it done. I will be taking the um, the HQ or tra or um, commercial front off it. And putting on a, uh, a HJXZ style front. So um, I just I just like the look of it a little bit better. Um, I'm not even a, a massive fan, which is which is weird. I'm not even a massive fan of the twin headlights. I just like the clean look of the Kingswood, you know, the Kingswood front. The um, you know two lights, indicators, bar with the black strip, the HZ. Um, just just love it but uh yeah i'll um as far as the you know just give you some, some rundown of the ideas i've had um 
I know everybody, you know, that a lot of people like to completely, um, completely flatten or try to flatten. And there's been some really nice, really nice uh, jobs done. Uh, completely flatten the, uh, the firewall. I still don't know what I'm going to do there. Whether I'm going to do that, I'll probably just get a plate or make up a plate. I do want to get a bead roller, roller, um, make up a plate that will fit over the uh, over that. Well, obviously, you know, I, I know it's it's not, it's not hard to do, but um, you can get like hair dryers or something for the for the heater de demisters. Um, I just want to. Uh, I really, I'd, I'd really like to spend a lot of time on the engine bay. You know, fabbed up sort of, uh, you know, as, as wire free as possible. Um, probably looking at something like a, you know, a, a 6 AL, you know, ignition. Uh, I did look at uh, what Haltech had, had to offer. They, they do offer a non EFI version of, uh, of computer um, that, you know, pretty much just fires, you know, fires the, uh, the coils based off, um, you know, either a inductive pickup or a uh, all the points, uh, but it's it is it's really uh, aimed at, at the race market. So um, I think I think for the dollars, um, you know, probably something like a uh, one of those six AL ignitions and uh, will be the go. But. can't put it off any longer it has to happen so with any luck this weekend we will start to pull it apart then we got to work out a spot in me nice clean shed uh, where to uh, put all the bloody parts that come off a lot of it's going to be in the rubbish but, uh, hmm. All right, guys, so uh, yeah, please follow along, hit the, uh, hit the bell, hit the like button. Um, you know, I, I, I'm really looking forward to get, getting into this. I'm really looking forward to sort of documenting it in these videos as well. Um, I just, uh, you know, I just want to, uh, just want to get it moving. Of you know, I, I haven't worked on cars for quite a few years now, because I had a, um, you know, had a young family and, and they're growing up and, and they're still young. But I'm starting to find I've got a little bit more more time to, to spend in the shed. So and you know, blessing in disguise. Uh, definitely this uh, this whole lockdown and, and COVID. I know you know Victoria's out of lockdown now, but um, yeah, it's definitely given that little bit of extra time on the weekends and, and that type of thing to be able to uh, to fix everything up. So I'm, uh, I'm very thankful for that, looking at the silver lining. But um, yeah, <clears throat> looking forward to it, looking forward to documenting it, looking forward to uh, interacting with you guys. See you on the next one. Love your work, get in the shed. On today's episode, if...